at 11. Start now. We'll buy it. We'll buy this house like it is right now. No furnace, no hot water tank, no nothing. We buy it. We can buy it. Come call me. Fox 2 tracking down that suspected squatter who ruined a young family's dream of owning a home. Well, last night we showed you the damage left behind. Tonight we're hearing from the man accused of causing it. He claims to be a famous rapper with a lot of money. But when Fox 2's Alexis Wiley started asking questions, his so-called rap got weak. Alexis Wally now live in the newsroom with more. Alexis, this guy was quite the character. That's definitely something you can call him. He was angry because he says he and his girlfriend are not squatters. In fact, he says she is the victim in all this because she was scammed and he wants to restore his rep. Y'all just disrespected my reputation and I feel like the people who did talk to me and look up to me, they, it hurt them. So I'm getting money. Y'all can look and say we get money. We doing swell. Yup, that's Clyde Bruner, a.k.a. Young Cartier. He calls himself a Detroit rapper, but this family calls him a Detroit squatter. You have the indecency to move in and get upset and then destroy the place? What gives you the right? Young Cartier, did you ever live in this house? No, I never lived there. I was a visitor. But you told me that you guys stayed in this house, you and your family, right? My girl land contracted a house. I was a visitor. I got my own house. You can look at me and see I don't have to squat. Come on, with disability. I got ran over by how I don't have to do nothing. My girl don't have to squat. Come on, why would we squat? She may not have had to squat, but that's exactly what she was doing. No one should have been living in this house. It was officially listed on July 14th, and HUD accepted an offer July 21st. And it wasn't from Cartier's girlfriend. She you lost money. She the one got told that she got scammed. But getting scammed doesn't explain how the house ended up like this. When she left, it was in perfect condition. That was in perfect condition the whole time. So what is all this disrespect to a young Cartier and to my, to my girl? Cartier says he couldn't have done it. So I'm going to carry out a furnace on crutches. I'm going to put it on my head and go outside with some crutches. You tell me who can do that. I'm Superman now. Cartier says his foot was crushed and now he'll be on disability for the rest of his life. Yet another reason why he says he has money. We got money. We don't have to squat. We can buy the house right now. They call us today. Contact young Cartier. We will buy the house today. But while he brags about all his money and his bling, I had to remind him of what we found inside that notebook inside the gutted house. On that document that was left in that house and it said income, it said zero. And it had your name, Clyde Bruner, and it said zero income. No, you got money like that? It's three hundred dollar pants. What is wrong with and you? Maybe you need to change to, that man, document. To to, maybe you need to update no, that so it does not reflect zero. We about to go to Benny Hanna and eat good. We in the mat. Zero. Hey, what? Hey, come on. Messed up. Don't, don't you see that right there? That's money. Let's go. We out of here. We out of here. We going to Benny Hanna. I'm hungry. We got money. We in the mag. We doing Let's good. Go. Let's go. So we got in the car and rode away probably headed to Benihana. Now the Spencers tell me they're over this. They're just going to walk away from this house. As you just heard, young Cartier says his girlfriend still wants to buy it and she has the money to do it. Huel? Since I'm still confused though, did this guy actually ever buy the house outright from anybody? No, he, he never bought the house from anyone. He says he was just a visitor. He says that his girlfriend gave $2,500 to a man that no one can seem to find. And that's how he says she bought the property. But at the same time, it just doesn't make sense. No man, no papers. Exactly. This story is ongoing. Alexis, thank you.